welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as intellicrop an ensemble model to predict crop using machine learning algorithms which is an ieee 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project so in this project the authors have proposed a crop prediction model using the machine learning basically agriculture is an important sector in india and also it is the prime occupation for many in the india so the researchers are developing various scientific technologies in implementing the agriculture in a better way so machine learning is also playing a vital role in uh, agriculture field for overcoming the problems that they face in the agriculture and especially in this paper the authors have proposed the predicting the crop which is suitable for the farmers according to the various conditions and they have used the ensemble model here so basically the other existing system use only one model but ensemble model is like combining more than one model and uh, here they have used random forest gradient boosting and logistic regression and we are also going to implement using the same ensemble model that is voting classifier using three algorithms that is random forest classifier logistic regression and gradient boosting classifier so these three algorithms we are going to implement in this intellicrop that is an ensemble model to predict crop using machine learning algorithms and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 98 percentage and the test accuracy that we have achieved is 98 percentage so now coming to the data set part so this data set is being given by the Indian Chamber of Food and Agriculture and it has been downloaded from the Kaggle repository only and uh, in this data set it consists of 22 unique crops so this 22 unique crops are like rice, maize, chickpea, kidney beans, black gram, pigeon beans, moth beans, mugan beans, pomegranate lentil mango banana watermelon grapes musk melon orange apple papaya cotton jute coconut and coffee and uh, the attributes it consists of various data sets for the climate rainfall fertilizer and etc and uh, these are the things that is available in the data set now let me show you the data set of it so this is the data set which consists of nitrogen n for nitrogen and p for phosphorus k for potassium and temperature value humidity value ph value rainfall value and the label as i said it consists of 22 classes with the things like rice maize chickpea kidney beans pigeon mugger beans lentil pomegranate mango grapes watermelon muskmelon everything you can see here So there are around 2200 data set records here and this is the data set that we are going to train up the system. So before executing make sure that you fulfill the requirements that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python and the libraries installed in it and first copy the source code location go to your command prompt now go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes and now you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox here and just paste the url and click enter and now you can see the home screen or you can see the project, the project title intellicrop and ensemble model to predict crop using machine learning algorithm and now just click this login menu and now it will be navigated to the login page where you can find the username and password and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click this login button 
and once the login is successful it will be navigated to the it will be showing the message login success and click ok and it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set so here you can select this browse button and go to the project source code location so where you can find the upload.csv file so just select this upload.csv and then click this upload button and once the data set has been uploaded it will be navigated to the preview part where you can preview the data set that we have uploaded as i shown you earlier in the excel format here you can see with the id n p k temperature humidity ph rainfall and the label values and you can just scroll down the page and you can see the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part also so the data set record consists of 2200 data set records is completely loaded in net the preview part now so now just click this click to train or test button now after few seconds you can see the training finish message and click ok now it will be navigated to the prediction part which is the important part of the project where it will be predicting the crop according to the data test that we have trained up with so let me show you with a few test cases with the nitrogen value of 60 phosphorus value of 55 potassium value of 45 temperature as 21.4086 humidity 83.329391 ph value as 5.9 Three five seven four five four one seven rainfall as two eight seven point five seven six six nine three five and now let us check the prediction result for this case by clicking this predict button and now you can see the predicted result is rise now let me click the prediction menu again to check with the other case by entering the nitrogen value as 71 phosphorus as 54 potassium as 16 temperature as 22.6135993 humidity as 63.6907056 ph value as 5.7499144211 rainfall value is 87.7595 and now let us check the prediction result for this case and the predicted result is maize and now let me go to the prediction menu again and now let me enter the nitrogen value is 40 phosphorus 72 potassium 77 and temperature 17.0249846 humidity with 16.9886117 ph value with 7.4859996067 rainfall value with 88.5512 three one four three and now let us check the prediction result for this case and the predicted crop is chickpea now let me go to the prediction menu again and now let me enter the case with nitrogen 13 prosperous 60 potassium 25 temperature is 17.1369277474 humidity with 20.5954169 pH value with 5.6859766 rainfall with 128.256862 and now let us check the prediction result for this case and the predicted result is kidney beans now let me go to the prediction menu with a value of nitrogen 56 phosphorus 79 potassium 15 temperature is 29.4843992 humidity with 63.1991533 ph value with 
and rainfall with 71.890907 and let us take the prediction result for this case and the predicted result is black gram and final let me click the prediction menu again for the final case with the nitrogen of 107 put phosphorus with 21 put potassium with 26 temperature with 26 point four five two eight eight four five eight humidity with fifty five point three two 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 six eight and pH value with seven point two three five zero seven zero two six four and rainfall with one double four point six eight six one three three six and let us check the prediction result for this and the picture result is coffee so i have shown you with the few case of rice maize chickpea kidney beans black gram and coffee you can check with the other classes so there are many classes with 22 classes so you can check with the test case given and also with the data set that you have trained up with so now let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis part in the performance analysis part you can see the performance analysis parameter for recall f1 and precision value for the classes that we have uh, trained up with so it consists of apple banana black gram chickpea coconut coffee cotton grapes jute kidney beans lentil maize mango moth beans moon beans muskmelon orange papaya pigeon beans pomegranate rice and watermelon so the performance analysis parameters have been displayed and then comes the confusion matrix for the cases that we have seen with the true and the predicted values for it and final comes the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart because you are not used in the database in the project as intimated earlier so this chart has been depicted from the data set that we have trained up with which consists of apple 4.5 percentage banana 4.5 percentage and black gram 4.5 percentage and and chickpea with 4.5 percentage coconut with 4.5 coffee with 4.5 cotton with 4.5 grapes with 4.5 jute with 4.5 kidney beans with 4.5 lentil with 4.5 maize with 4.5 mango with 4.5 moth beans with 4.5 moon beans with 4.5 muskmelon with 4.5 orange with 4.5 papaya with 4.5 pigeon beans with 4.5 pomegranate with 4.5 and rice with 4.5 and watermelon with 4.5 and every classes consists of 4.5 percentage of the data and now let me log out and this is all about the project IntelliCrop an ensemble model to predict crop using machine learning algorithms and thank you all for watching